Villages in eastern Czech Republic close to the border with Poland have been severely affected by floods on Sunday. River Bela burst its banks and villages of Bela Pod Perditum and Lukna nad Desno have suffered damages. Most parts of the Czech Republic have been affected as authorities declared the highest flood warnings at around 100 places across the country. But the situation was worst in two northeastern regions that recorded the biggest rainfall in recent days, including the Jeseniki Mountains near the Polish border. We have to focus on saving lives, Prime Minister Petr Fiala told Czech Public Television on Sunday. His government was set to meet Monday to assess the damages. The worst is not behind us yet, the Prime Minister warned as the flooding made its way through the country. President Petr Pavel sounded more optimistic, saying, it's obvious we've learned a lesson from the previous crisis. Former U.S. President Donald Trump said that he will be the border president in a speech heavily focused on migration at a Las Vegas rally late Friday. Trump also strongly criticized Vice President Kamala Harris, frequently referring to her as Comrade Kamala Harris. We dismantled her terrible record, we exposed her radical liberal agenda, we laid out our plans to quite simply make America great again, said Trump referring to Tuesday's presidential debate in Philadelphia. Three months ago, we had a monumental victory. We had a beautiful victory three months ago. And then a couple of nights ago, we had an even better victory. We took her on, comrade. Kamala Harris, we took her on and we did really well every... We dismantled her terrible record, we exposed her radical liberal agenda and we laid out our plans to quite simply make America great again. <laughs> Meanwhile, comrade, Kamala Harris, comrade. Showed up spewing lies and meaningless platitudes with no plans, no policies, and no solutions whatsoever. She doesn't have a clue. And the American people are damn angry, too. We're all angry. Country's being wrecked. That's why 53 days from now, we're going to tell Harris that we've had enough. Our country can't take it anymore. Comrade Kamala Harris, you're fired. You're fired. Get out. Get out. When I return to the White House, I will launch a special task force of elite federal law enforcement and charge them with crushing and eliminating every foreign gang and organized crime network that is conquering our country. This will not end well unless Donald J. Trump is elected the 47th president of the United States. But I can end well. Because I am your border president. From now on, 
I want to be your border person. That this border crisis is 20 times worse than it was in 2016. But I'll get it solved, I'll get it solved fast, and we'll get back to making our country strong again. And I only want to be addressed no longer as Mr. President, Mr. Border President, sir. Because we got to get this border fixed. We got people. Starting on day one, I will seal the border and stop the migrant invasion. We will carry out the largest deportation operation of criminals in American history. We will defeat inflation quickly, and we will make America affordable again. We're getting your prices way down. We will make America the dominant energy producer in the world by far.